Don't let our familiarity with Jesus cause us to become complacent to the point we forget he lives in us to love others through us. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we find in, when we read Matthew's chapters 11 through 13, Jesus taught and preached in the Galilean cities, including Nazareth, his hometown. It was challenging. The people ask in, thir- in chapter 13, verse 54, where did this man that we know as a child get this wisdom and miraculous power? Verse 57, in fact, they took offense. They were hindered from acknowledging his authority. Jesus explained, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own home. Verse 5, Jesus found it difficult to do many works of power there because of the town's unbelief or lack of faith. When he tried to teach, he had to use parables. Simple stories used to illustrate a spiritual lesson which challenged the hearers to change their behavior. Sandwiched in between the parables were teachings that must have been difficult to hear for the familiarity breeds contempt. Things like Matthew 11, 28, Jesus speaking, Come to me, all you who labor, and I will cause you to rest. In 12, verses 12 through 13, Jesus healed a man's hand, which was withered, on the Sabbath day. He was challenged by the religious community as he taught, It is lawful and allowable to do good on the Sabbath. And Jesus then proceeded to heal him. In verse 50, Jesus explained that, who his real family is, those who do the will of the Father in heaven. Jesus described his message of the kingdom of heaven as like sowing seed among thorns, 1322. Once the word was heard, people immediately let the cares of the world and pleasures and deceitfulness of riches choke choke out and suffocate the word, yielding no fruit. In 1323, those who did receive his message was like seed sown on good ground. They heard the word, grasped it, comprehended it, then bore much fruit, some 100-fold, some 60, some 30. Those who not only received the word but valued it above all else was like verse 44, a person who found a treasure in a field. They then sold all they had to purchase the field. In other words, fully committed and sold out with joy. Words of encouragement. Jesus also talked about Judgment Day and how those who chose not to listen and obey his message would be singled out on Judgment Day by angels, for they will be cast into a furnace of fire. There will be much weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Bottom line, in 2024, let's make sure we are fully engaged with all our senses when it comes to God's message about the kingdom of heaven and the part that we play in it, so we can bear much fruit. Have a great day.